I don't know where to begin. Later, I'm going to the grocery store and I see this uh, two days ago. Nature's Best Remedies, National Geographic. They put Kevin Trudeau in prison for writing a book that basically said the same thing as this. And I'm not defending Kevin Trudeau. I think the guy has serious issues and, you know, said he was at Area 51 with space aliens. Uh, I mean, I got, I've got problems with him. I don't think he should be in prison, though, uh, for writing a book. That's what he was convicted of about uh, natural remedies and cures they don't want you to know about was the name. Nature's Best Remedies, National Geographic. So I bought it, and it's like a boil down. It's like a 129 page, 129 page redux boil down of Kevin Trudeau's book. So we're going to arrest National Geographic. And I just tweeted out uh, the new issue uh, of the official National Geographic. This is one of those little books that. Time Life and others put out similar, you know, there at the tabloid stand on certain issues like the 10 faces of Jesus or 10 disasters. I mean, we've all seen them or JFK, stuff like that. Well, now they put a new one where they talk about the war on science. And they say climate change does not exist. Evolution never happened. The moon landing was fake. Vaccinations can lead to autism. Genetically modified food is evil. And they mix truth with lies there. So this just illustrates how there's people within any organization. They know there's a market for herbs and vitamins. and They know the science is there. And they go over the science of the studies in this about all the things it can do for you and how many drugs have been derived from herbs and fruit extracts and things like that. And even trace minerals. But then separately, they're putting out something evil on the other side that is basically demonizing anyone that questions official narratives. So that's coming up in the last 30 minutes. We're talking about the collapse of confidence in the system, and it ties into this when Anthony Gucciardi, one of our Infowars.com writers and the head of Natural Society as well, wrote a, wrote a story for Infowars.com titled, It's Official, McDonald's and Monsanto are both losing money fast. That's a close quote. Uh, public awakens to what's really in their food. And I'm going to tell you, if Monsanto and McDonald's fall, the whole thing falls. They are canaries in the globalist coal mine. They are tip of the spear in the New World Order dehumanization soft kill operation. And we're going to be going over that. Uh, and, and because the system can't win the info war against us, there's a big article out today out of Reason magazine, the government's war on freedom of the press. We're going to get into that all in the last 30 minutes today. These these three stacks uh, of news in this magazine article, we're going to break that down when Anthony Gucciardi joins us in studio. Everybody knows I'm not a big fan of Rudolph Giuliani. He's pro-open border, anti-gun. He's about as Republican as Arnold Schwarzenegger is, also open border, anti-gun. Pro-abortion. I mean, everybody attacks him because he's a drag queen. I don't see that as a big issue. But now, I, I saw CNN and a bunch of other headlines this weekend. The end of Giuliani. The fall of Giuliani. No longer America's mayor. All because he came out and said Obama hates this country, which is true. Now Scott Walker's come out and basically said that. So he's not even sure he's a Christian. Remember the Obama truth squads in the first election in 2008? They said they'd arrest you in Missouri if you said he might not be a Christian? I mean, that's pure tyranny. We'll be back with this and a lot more. Stay with us. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy-to-use capsules, you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. 
wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Massachusetts proposing legislation that would allow police to forcefully quarantine residents and even impose martial law without a warrant. We have to keep geoengineering on the table. We have to look at it very carefully because we might get desperate enough to want to use it. I really feel like running around the street, jumping in front of cars, trying to warn people. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids. Vaccines! Good! It's like the 1950s body snatcher, where at the end he's running out of the town and he gets out on the highway and runs up the back of an army truck and there's more of the pods and he's like, oh my gosh, they're everywhere! You've got to warn everyone! I mean, that's how I feel. He can authorize non-healthcare licensed personnel, read that to mean police, sure. to vaccinate people against their will. Why on earth would so-called conservative talk show host cover up the FEMA camps and do hit pieces on us saying it isn't true? Why on earth would Brian Williams be for Obamacare when he knows full well it's got death panels, was written by insurance companies as a giant screw job? Why on, on God's green earth would we be starting a war with Russia right now and be the bad guys? Why? I mean, somebody's got to get hysterical here. I really am freaked out. I really have seen the tyranny. I really have learned to not trust the system. And I know it's getting worse because I've grown up seeing. And so I am running around, freaking out, trying to warn people as best I can. They say they're another species. They're super sapien. They're going to get rid of us. They've already decided they're taking over, okay? This is like a war we've never seen. It's a cultural, scientific, rewrite takeover. And so we got to warn people. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are coming to you live on this 222. The 22nd day of February 2015. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We'll be here until 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. And, of course, re-aired on affiliates across the country back in less than 24 hours at 11 a.m. Central. That's 12 noon Eastern for the big weekday broadcast. Okay. Let me just read to you the stacks here and see if I can go through just the 15 or so stacks I've got so you know what's coming up today. Al-Shabaab threatens malls, including some in U.S. Head of Homeland Security warns the public says be vigilant. USA Today. Minneapolis officer wounded in apparent targeted attack of police. Just killed him because he was a cop. Uh, you notice that's been funded by the White House, that whole movement. <clears throat> that's just some of the news on that front. Giuliani. To 1010 WINS, Obama's lack of patriotism come from his upbringing and as a critic of the U.S. Says that he could basically be a communist and he doesn't, quote, love America. That's out of Politico. Incredible rhetoric, which is actually accurate. Uh, Scott Walker in the Washington Post says, I don't know whether Obama is a Christian. And here's that actual headline out of the Metro. Obama's influenced by communists since youth. Well, that's just true. Giuliani stands by Obama comments. Unprecedented to see that out of Rudolf Giuliani, who has been anti-gun, pro-open border, and is basically a rhino, Republican in name only. Why would he be coming out with such hardcore rhetoric if he isn't going to run for president, knowing he would be fully uh, attacked? for telling the truth, because you can say what you want about Giuliani. What he's saying is the truth. And I mean, I suddenly just saw it all over the front page of Yahoo, CNN, uh, it was in my email, it was just everywhere. The fall of America's mayor, the end of Giuliani. Th these are the headlines. It's over for him. Well, I don't think when dinosaur media sits there and says it's over for somebody, that doesn't work anymore. In fact, I predict Giuliani will only get more popular He's pretty much become obscure, and we'll now we'll see a resurgence of Giuliani on the uh, talk circuit. 
He does these big talks, paid talks around the country at these different self-help events with Colin Powell and others. I predict his stock's going to go up because, look, Brian Williams is a canary in the coal mine. And when Brian Williams gets forced out of NBC and ultimately ends up losing his job, which I predict they'll announce in six months he's gone. It's just a face-saving maneuver to say he's suspended for six months. This is just another signpost in the death of the dinosaur media and the death of its credibility. And so when mainstream media announces, like NBC and CNN and MSNBC have all announced, the end of somebody for daring to speak bad of Der Fuhrer, it's only going to blow up in their faces because they have no credibility. Speaking of no credibility, the Oscars record low profits for Hollywood in 2014. Of course, tonight is the stupid Oscars. Uh, our critic predicted the big Oscar wins and surprises. That's out of the New York Post. What's in the Oscar nominees gift bag? $125,000 in swag. Yes, I'm sure just what they need. This is all from the so-called leftist, almost to a man or woman that say redistribute wealth, take gun owners' guns, uh, but they're all for Obama having 25, 30, 100 bodyguards at one time conservatively, but you can't have bodyguards when they do. Out of AFP, Oscar protest planned over all white nominees. The African-American Civil Rights Group plans to protest outside Sunday's Oscars. That's right, any white person winning is a sign of racism. This is the total political correctness brainwashing where we don't know how to read or write or do anything, but we know how to obsess over race all day. So that's just some of the silliness. We're going to look at that propaganda uh, coming up. I'm not going to the news in the order of most important. I'm just letting you know some of what's coming up. Uh, let's go to some of the most important news. Fresh nuclear leak detected at Fukushima plant where five of the six plants, including a plutonium-based um, MOX reactor, blew up. Well, now it's openly leaking and melting down again. Again, French news agency reports. Sensors at the Fukushima nuclear plant have detected a fresh leak of highly radioactive water to the sea, the plant's operator announced today, highlighting difficulties in decommissioning the crippled plant. Tokyo Electric had more to say, and they've been whitewashing it big time. We're going to go over that. Meanwhile, Sunday Express reports UK nuclear sites warned over drone terror attack. We're going to look at that story. Shifting gears and what I see is the biggest threat, three parents, three parent babies could risk the future of the human race, is the headline out of the UK Daily Express. That's right. The UK legalized last year three baby parents. Now, these will not even be humans, ladies and gentlemen. And as infertility increases... You're going to have to go in and basically get a designer baby. And then with these systems, they can build Trojan horses in on record. They can decide certain traits to leave in, certain traits to take out. I'm going to break that down coming up today as well. Now, this piece of news is not in the news. And I'm directing Mikhail Phelan, Paul Watson, Don Salazar, Kit Daniels. I don't know who's going to do it, but I, I sent them all uh, the articles th this morning. So I'm sure you can look for this tonight or tomorrow at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I got a call from one of my moles inside the city of Austin. He said, do you know what's going on at the Palmer Events Center Monday and Tuesday? And I said, no, what's going on? He goes, well, you know, we're one of 87 sanctuary cities where they give free welfare to all the illegals and red carpet them and don't give them tickets and don't arrest them for DWIs and... In fact, people won't believe this. Pull up CBS News. Uh, Border Patrol no longer does arrest illegals for basically any felony, but the headline was for drinking and driving. They actually tell them in the DHS memo, yeah, if they kill somebody, it's no big deal. It actually says you have no liability. Just because they said so in a memo, of course, it violates all sorts of federal and state laws, and you are now culpable, but whatever. Uh, and, we, and we know about it because the Border Patrol leaked it last week to CBS News, but... I get the call. I sure enough search it. Austin Welcoming City Summit. And I was even told by the city a person that it's $7,000 a day, $7,500 a day just to feed the illegals at the welcoming ceremony uh, where they teach them how to get free welfare and how to get all the, quote, social services and basically not work. And it breaks down in here. All meals will be provided. This is morning, noon, and night, except for the on-your-own lunch on February 23rd. 
Please note that there is a $8 parking fee at Palmer Event Center. And it says how to accept illegals. It actually says how to get them on welfare, how to condition the public to accept it. It's a giant takeover plan for the North American Union. Uh, that's coming up. And then the intensifying war in Ukraine. And then Syria invades, excuse me, Turkey invades Syria. And then... The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know the fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. You can now listen to The Alex Jones Show live on the free TuneIn Radio app, featuring over 100,000 real radio stations, over 4 million podcasts streaming live from every continent, offering unprecedented access to listen to anything, anywhere. TuneIn lets you listen to over 100,000 real radio stations and more than 4 million podcasts from every continent, 200,000 mobile downloads per day, available on iPhone, iPad, Android, Android tablets, Windows 8, BlackBerry, Amazon Kindle. Available in over 200 branded products with millions of devices sold worldwide, including Samsung Smart TV, Roku, Sonos, Sony, Sony PlayStation, Amazon Echo, Panasonic Viera TV, Logitech Squeezebox. Tune in brings streaming radio to cars, including GM, Ford, BMW, Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, Volvo, Nissan, Fiat, and more. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time. NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst-case scenario unravels. That's D-A-R-K-E-S-T-D-A-Y-S dot I-N-F-O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life-saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. We now take you live. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. On 222, this Sunday worldwide live broadcast. All right, I mentioned the imminent, they're saying, terror attacks on Mall of America, other areas. 
which clearly we've heard us predict so many hundreds of times, I'm not going to even play the tape, that they would openly fund al-Qaeda and the jihadis and then let them spread and then they would start threatening and then ultimately attacking domestic targets, soft targets, until America turns into a total police state. But now that's being announced. Uh, we're going to get into the Oscars being turned into a giant political correctness brainwashing fest. Uh, Clinton Foundation drops ban on foreign government donations. Just amazing. And I've read the different Federal Elections Commission's uh, regulations and laws. I believe this is illegal. We'll get into the three parent babies could risk the future of the human race. Yeah, no kidding, says the parliament. We're going to get into all over the country the red carpet for the illegals, the free tuition, the, the free welfare, uh, the, the free tax return refunds when they don't even put any money in could have their babies for free. I'm not even against immigrants or people from Latin America, but this is the merger of our countries together. This is the conquering of our nation. I'm going to break that down. We've got Syria criticizing the fact that Turkey, with the biggest military in the Middle East, it's bigger than Israel's when it comes to conventional ground troops, tanks, planes, has invaded and taking a large part of Syria, and their response is, we were just there guarding a tomb of the founder of the Ottoman Empire. We've got this clip coming up. So when you look at the foreign press, it's an admitted invasion. When you watch CNN, it's, well, uh, Turkey was just guarding a tomb. And, and then it shows a video of like 50 army tanks and helicopters and it's like a thousand troops just in one shot guarding a tomb. <laughs> it's like, it'd be like if the Russians said, we're guarding a tomb in D.C. and all these helicopters are landing. I mean, it's just the way they spin stuff. If you only look at U.S. news versus foreign news, and I'm not saying it's perfect either, but I mean, Syria is like, you just invaded us. Uh, this is really illegal. And uh, they're aiding Al Qaeda and they're aiding ISIS. That's who's aiding them openly. And our media's answer is they're just guarding a tomb. And it shows an army. Shows a ridge just covered with tanks and artillery and helicopters and troops. I guess when they take Damascus, they'll just be guarding a tomb. It's just always the spin. But before we go any further, I'm going to go through all these articles one by one. Giuliani is not backing down, and I'm not lionizing him. It's just that what he's saying is true. We sell the film. In fact, we helped popularize it. Uh, it was in association with WorldNet Daily as well. Uh, Joel Gilbert made the film Dreams of My Real Father, and it's admitted that Obama spent most summers as a child for at least seven years with Frank Marshall Davis, a famous communist and a famous pornographer. It's just bizarre. And there's photos in the film directly from Obama's archives of him sitting on the couch in the room, in the living room with Frank Marshall Davis, who he admits in his own book, Dreams of My Father, that he spent summers with and his grandfather was basically best friends with. Well, in Dreams of My Real Father, it shows he, what is his mother naked in porn shoots in that living room on that couch. I mean, it's Frank Marshall Davis is his dad, folks. The whole Kenya thing was a diversion. People got suckered by it. That's why his Harvard Law Review said he was from Kenya. We've got clips of Michelle saying he was born in Kenya. That was all a cover story, folks. You look at Frank Marshall Davis, it's Obama. And he shacked up with Obama's mom. I mean, he, he is Frank Marshall Davis' son. I want to get Gilbert back on. Uh, but Giuliani's now quoting the film, basically, but not giving it credit, which is fine. The point is we sell the DVD at InfoWarsStore.com. You can purchase it and support us, the filmmaker. But it will blow you away. By the way, when I first heard this a few years ago, I didn't believe it. When I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, now it all makes sense. That's why the White House put out the... The birth certificate in four different layers, and it was fake, and they, and they used typeset that was the WordPress, uh, Microsoft Word, you know, fake typewriter, because every letter has a little blurb or blob, supposedly from the ink, but like a snowflake with a real typewriter, each one is different. Well, that right there was fake because all the words were identical. You could compare a C to a C or a D to a D or a Z to a Z and have the same fake you know, blobs. Day one, we saw it and said fake because of that. A year later, top forensic folks in our Pio's office said the same thing. 
But it was all meant to be fake to get us on that trail, believing he was covering up Kenyon Rich. When you look at the Kenyan dad, that's not him. Doesn't look anything like him. You look at Frank Marshall Davis, folks, it's him. But let's go to Giuliani not backing down and bringing up Frank Marshall Davis, Obama's father. Here it is. Mr. Mayor, do you want to apologize for your comment? <laughs> not at all. I want to repeat it. Uh, the reality is, I, uh, from all that I can see of this president, all that I've heard of him, he apologizes for America. He criticizes America. He talks about the Crusades and how the Christians were barbarians. Leaves out the second half of the sentence that the Muslims were barbarians also. He uh, sees Christian slaughtered and doesn't stand up and hold a press conference, although he holds a press conference for the situation in, F in Ferguson. He sees Jews being killed for anti-Semitic reasons, doesn't stand up and hold a press conference. This is an American president I've never seen before. But to say that he doesn't love America, I mean, that he could view foreign policy as a Democrat might view it, and through a different uh, lens than the off. Full clip is on Infowars.com. And this is all PNAC planned to have a class of civilizations. Let's get something clear. I don't hate Muslims. Everybody knows that. And I was against all these wars. But I've studied history and the Muslims invaded Europe. They went all the way to Germany, all the way to Poland. There are huge statues in all those countries of the different kings that stopped them. Count Dracula in, 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 in Romania, Transylvania was a real guy and stopped him right there. And they were killing basically everybody and, and then grabbing the women and hauling them off. They took over Spain for about 300 years. And it was El Cid that took it back. So, I mean, I remember going to college. That's why I got out of college. I was already successful in, in uh, radio. As soon as I got a radio job, I was like, you know, when I'm done, um, I was already making more money than most people with, you know, quote, degrees in RTF. And it wasn't that much money, but I said, I could pay, pay my bills. I'm done. Bye bye, college. Because I'd go in there and hear about the Crusades and how, how we were barbaric. And I was like, hey, I read all the history books because they were so interesting. I wasn't anti Muslim. I wanted to read about history because let me tell you, it's a page turner. Battles every page, not like some fake novel. And yeah, you had Vlad the Impaler, Count Dracula, you know, if people wouldn't be his conscripts and fight the Muslims, he'd, he'd stick them on the end of a pole. He was a barbarian, but here's the deal. The Muslims started it and invaded. L let's just get that straight. What do you think Spain's La Reconquista, where the rest of Europe came in and kicked the radical Islamists out? By the way, there were radical and non-radical Islamists. There were lots of Islamic sects that didn't want to take over, wanted to be left alone. They were getting enslaved as well. There's always radical groups that want to use religion as a pretext to take over. But here's the deal. Radical Islam is becoming the dominant strain in Islam right now. So whether whether it's a religion of peace or war, jihad or whatever, it is now run by Saudi Arabia who wants to conquer the world and they're allied with the globalist and our own government is opening the door to bring this in and when the terror attacks hit, they're going to take our basic freedoms, the name of fighting it, as the terror summit said last week with the White House and their main focus will be gun owners, veterans and Christians, not the radical jihadis. Stay with us. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com. Oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race.
Bush. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun and you can feel it. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season When we love runs high in this time, give it to me easy And let me try with pleasure hands You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. We're here six days a week, Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. That's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget InfoWars Nightly News. Original, hard-hitting, sometimes live, 7 o'clock Central, weeknights at InfoWarsNews.com and now already cable and TV systems here and there around the country before I've even officially launched it uh, outside the subscriber-based system. Okay, uh, or you can see it on Roku, Boxy, hundreds of other platforms, literally. Yeah, we get about, on Roku, Boxy, all the different platforms, we can track every night about 300,000 viewers. You have to understand, the radio's millions every day, but for TV, it's so competitive, 300,000 is huge. 300,000 people watching that nightly news, and we're getting ready to really drop the hammer in the next few months and go to the next level. It's very exciting. But I digress. Freedom is popular. Legalized freedom, as Ron Paul likes to say. Let me break something down here. There are globalist interests that are openly creating global treaties, global governance right now that circumvents national sovereignty. So everything that these handful of mega corporations are doing is about destroying choice, destroying independence, the family, state government, local government, federal government, all over the world. They want centralized systems that are under their global hegemon. That's what Davos, Switzerland openly, every year at their meetings, they admit, global government. We're going under this Trans-Pacific Partnership right now that is secret. Congress can't even see it. And we're told we're now under it. 
So when you see Al-Qaeda and ISIS, which they admit is formerly Al-Qaeda, same people, same flags, invading Libya, invading Syria, invading Iraq, attacking Egypt, and then Obama won't criticize them very much or won't call them radicals, but will call Christians and gun owners radicals. What he's doing is playing to that crowd and his cousin Odinga in Kenya and others that have been on record supporting the Muslim Brotherhood that is basically run by Saudi Arabia as well in destabilizing the entire Middle East. So you say then, why are we bombing them? We're not really bombing them. They'll blow up a few old trucks, whatever, some rogue group not taking orders that doesn't color within the numbers, within the lines. That's why they've had airdrops over and over again, and the Iraqi government's come out and said, listen, you're giving them the weapons, you're behind them. So, so it's not just me saying this. I've been watching it for four and a half years. The West and NATO openly funded out of Saudi Arabia and Israel and Turkey, probably more than anybody militarily, it's Turkey. The money's Saudi Arabian, and the fighters are Saudi Arabian predominantly. They're also from Qatar and all over Europe. And I mean, they're advertising. They let them online advertise and run these things. We get censored all the time on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Oh, but not the jihadis. They're allowed to operate. Then they use the fact they're allowed to operate to call for government censorship when there's already rules to shut them down. See... They let them thrive to then take our liberties. And we're now seeing our predictions come true because it's the same formula. So these terror threats are real, but they've been protected, they've been funded, they've been grown. Like in Little Shop of Horrors right here in America. Feed me, Seymour. I said feed me. And we've got collaborators in the system that are just going along with this and now... Oh, we got to have troops in the Middle East. Oh, we got to invade Africa to counter Al-Shabaab and Boko Haram and all these other Saudi Arabian, Wahhabist, Sunni-affiliated radicals that are there killing Sunnis all over the Middle East and killing uh, other groups, not just Shiites, but members of their own majority faith. And now Al-Shabaab, which is part of ISIS, Calls for an attack on Mall of America in new video. And now they're saying we need troops in the malls. Italy has put their army, as of last week, on the streets. As ISIS and al-Shabaab said they're going to flood Europe with 50,000 more Muslims as a soft force, a psychological warfare force for the takeover. Well, boy, you got good friends in the EU then, 500,000? There's like 2 million Muslims a year coming into Europe conservatively. About a quarter of them out of Turkey alone. I mean, Europe's wide open. We're wide open. Our government pays to bring in foreigners, pays to bring in unskilled. It'd be one thing we brought in skilled like Switzerland. This is the takedown. So you'll have our government in some levels criticizing all this, but they're quarterbacking it. This is a divide and conquer strategy. Now, you don't have to believe me. No, ladies and gentlemen, former head U.S. general in NATO, General Wesley Clark, has come out on CNN and said, our friends and allies funded ISIS to destroy Hezbollah. Let's stop right there. <sighs> That's true. Israel founded Hamas in 1974. That's your Islam post, the year I was born, 41 years ago, to counter Hezbollah. And it's true, Israel's supplying for three years ambulances and satellite information to the Syrian Free Army, or Free Syrian Army, which is Al-Qaeda. It's, it's a fact. So you got Giuliani, see how more sophisticated this is? Criticizing Obama for not getting behind a war against radical Islam, while meanwhile he's saying oh, he's against Netanyahu, Obama. But meanwhile, Israel with Turkey and Saudi Arabia and Europe the EU are all bringing down sovereign nations using the Al-Qaeda, Wahhabist, ISIS, IS, Al-Shabaaz, Boko Haram, whatever the name is this week, the same group. And even Wesley Clark goes on CNN and says it, there is an internal fissure in the power elite right now, which is very dangerous. It's also good. It shows they're out of control and, and, and they're so immoral. The military's not going along with it, but they're openly starting to rat each other out on the news. Uh, we should debate what this means, because when you got Wesley Clark saying what I've been saying for four years, look out. Look out. And you're seeing a lot of rhetoric right now uh, coming out here.
you're seeing the heat being turned up. And that means we're coming towards a flashpoint. Let's go to this clip of Wesley Clark. So you're in a little bit of a dilemma on that. We need to leave that kind of fuzzy on this, but we need the authorization to follow the leads, put the troops in, and, and play this. Look, ISIS got started through funding from our friends and allies, because as people will tell you in the region, if you want somebody who will fight to the death against Hezbollah, you don't put out a recruiting poster and say, you know, sign up for us, uh, we're going to make a better world. You go after zealots and you go after these religious fundamentalists. That's who fights Hezbollah. But, General, I'm hearing you on like right, Let's stop right there. <laughs> I'm for those that don't know, Hezbollah is Shiite, funded by the Iranians. And, of course, then when you look at Hezbollah, it's now being attacked by Hamas, which was founded by Israel, but still attacks Israel from time to time. Israel doesn't run them. They just help get them started. So understand, Wesley Clark, our friends and allies funded ISIS to destroy Hezbollah, that is Iranian-based and Shiite-based, the minority group of Islam, 20%. And Hamas is basically connected to the Saudi Arabians and the Wahhabist and that jihad group, which is much bigger, more powerful, and are the people that brought us 9-11. But when 9-11 came, as we know in the secret 28 pages that have been leaked by the head of the 9-11 Commission, Senator Graham and others, and Congressman Jones on this show, Saudi Arabia ran the attacks. Our government stood down because was it blamed on the Shiites? Was it blamed on Hezbollah? No, no, no. Was it blamed on the Wahhabist and Hamas who were involved? No. It was blamed on the only secular, quasi-secular state set up by the CIA, by Eisenhower, under a different protocol to try to stabilize and build up the Middle East and modernize it, and that was Saddam Hussein. He came out of the Eisenhower program in 1979. Eisenhower obviously was gone in 1961, but that's the true history. So it was Saudi Arabia taking out the only secular threat in the region other than Syria, now they're trying to take that down. You wear a suit and tie in Egypt, you let women go to college in Egypt or Iraq uh, or Syria, here comes the Saudi Arabians with the U.S. government to put jihadis in to murder everybody. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time. NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst case scenario unravels. That's D A R K E S T D A Y S dot I N F O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the Synergistic Solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 
The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I'm opening the phones up. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. And who is the empire? It's anti-free market, central banks of the world owned by a handful of families that are seeking to bring in a tyrannical, anti-human world government to bring in neo-feudalism for us, advanced technology, life extension for them, a breakaway civilization. Now, I want to open the phones up, and, and, and while we take calls, I'm going to intersperse it with three baby uh, parents could risk the future of the human race. Fukushima nuclear leak detected at Fukushima plant. That's AP, Reuters, you name it. Uh, next hour, uh, the illegals are literally given a free lunch and free welfare, and they have welcoming parties uh, at the Palmer Events Center tomorrow. And the next day, we're going to send a crew down there. Watch, they're probably trying to not let us in. It's free to the public, but they mean the illegals. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm predicting that right now. Uh, and then we're also going to uh, get into the latest on Ukraine and a lot more. But before I do that, here's the toll-free number. I'd like to hear specifically from active duty or former military, or anyone that's ever disagreed with us. I mean, I don't want to say the military and police so much do, because they are more awake than most of the public. But if you agree or disagree, I mean, did we not predict all this would happen? And the, then the ISIS people were going to attack malls and schools and things. And then it, it won't be, hey, don't bring them here in record levels. Stop all the illegal immigration and legal at this level. It'll just be, hey, let's take everybody's freedom. And they just had a summit last week saying it's not about radical Islam. It's about conservatives. This whole police state is for us. I want to hear from you. What should be done about this? How do you articulate this to a public that doesn't know regions of the world, doesn't know countries, doesn't know their own capital, doesn't know the three branches of government? How do you explain to them that Wesley Clark's telling the truth, but only to one level? He comes out and says basically Israel and Turkey and Saudi Arabia are funding the Wahhabist, funding uh, the, the, the new caliphate, as he said. How do you explain to them, yeah, but it isn't like they got out of control and now the U.S. has got to fight them. The U.S. and, and Google was involved four years ago before the Arab Spring and NATO hijacking revolutions to overthrow corrupt governments and making sure that radical Saudi Arabian backed groups took over. Our government backed trying to overthrow the government in Egypt to put in Wahhabist. And the Egyptian military countered and threw them out. And again, I'm not lionizing them. I'm not saying they're saints, but compared to Al Qaeda, they are. They stopped the blowing up of churches and uh, mutilating of women sexually. Our government is backing radical Islam, period. And it's bigger than Obama. It's about a clash of civilizations. And apologists like Giuliani are saying, oh, Obama's against Netanyahu. No, 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 no. 
Wesley Clark's doubling back, going, oh, it's our allies funding it, but now it's gotten out of hand. We've got to stop them. That's a limited truth. This was all meant to happen, just as you see now where the Middle East begs the U.S. to come back in to, quote, counter ISIS. And when they're done, they'll end up attacking Syria. As they announced last week, the U.S. will allow non-radical jihadists uh, in Iraq and Syria to call in airstrikes on the Syrian government. This is just our military there to honcho, organize, and quarterback the so-called Free Syrian Army. And they just think the public will be confused by it all. That's why the airstrikes aren't real. That's why the airdrops don't go to the Kurds but go to ISIS every time. And the Iraqi government has said, look, the West is running this. You're going to give them a new country, part of eastern Syria, part of western Iraq. The Iraqi government is in worldwide newspapers a month ago saying this. Remember four months ago, General Dempsey, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, was in there and Senator Graham was on the Armed Services Committee was like, now you tell everybody that Saudi Arabia is not involved with ISIS, right? And he goes, well, of course they are. They started it and run it. And Graham just freaked out and turned red. Let me tell you, there's a major shift in the government. The military doesn't want to be part of this. They don't want to openly back al-Qaeda to do this. They don't want to be involved in martial law. You know the military, this is in Stars and Stripes, this is in the Army Times, after we covered it a decade ago. But it's in the news all the time. They're training to cordon cities, to take guns, and to basically round up libertarians and conservatives. What do you think that did to the military? It totally freaked them out. And they went, whoa, it's all true. They had a come to Jesus moment two years ago. The whole military basically woke up. The New World Order is in deep doo-doo. They're one inch from an Operation Valkyrie getting run on them. The difference is there's not one Fuhrer Adolf Hitler that could be taken out. There's a whole corrupt globalist Federal Reserve porta potty full of just nasties. There isn't one we got to deal with here. It's an idea we got to deal with. We got to discredit the system, not have violence, up the info war. We're going to win. I mean, you understand, ladies and gentlemen, the incredible things are happening right now. The border is wide open. Millions are coming across every few months. They're being instantly legalized outside of law by fiat. CBS News announced the illegals are above the law for felonies and get away with anything they want. I mean, I knew this years ago. You knew this, but it's now in the news. Federal court said you can't just legalize all the illegals. Obama said, I'm going to ignore that. I mean, that was two days ago on Friday. I mean, we're living in insane times here. And the good news is the criminal takeover of America and the rest of the world is so over the top and is hurting prosperity. It'd be one thing if it was a corrupt takeover that created more prosperity. People would kind of not like it, but they'd halfway go along with it. And I'm not saying that'd be okay. No, this is really people that really want to fundamentally break our country for political will to make everybody basically poor so a tiny elite can control us. Well, most people working for the establishment don't want to live in a poor country. They want to live in prosperity. They want to live in freedom. They want, okay, so people are now getting down to the end of the line here. And there's a major, major, major awakening happening. So here's the toll-free number, 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. The Sunday number is different than the weekday number. 877-789-ALEX or 877-789-2539. And we will open the phones up to take your calls on these subjects. But just to take one little story, it's not even that important. But it's important as a piece of propaganda to decipher how they work. I get up this morning and I see this headline, prepare for full-scale war. Flagrant aggression, Damascus, that's the capital of Syria, livid after Turkey's incursion on Assyrian soil. And they go into threatening that they were going to attack them. This is RT. And said it was an act of war. Now, Turkey's already been shelling them for years. She's got training bases for Al-Qaeda and ISIS to come in. They're hitting them from all different angles. Israel in the south, out of Lebanon, out of the Golans. Uh, out of Iraq trained, our own military training, and that's what made the military wake up. Turkey's attacking. They're hitting from all sides. The Russians are coming in out of the north to try to defend. Again, I'm not lionizing them, but they're the ones fighting radical Islam on, on every angle, and they're being attacked for it, as you notice. Well, Turkish soldiers evacuate Tum, 
in Syria. Their excuse was, we came in to guard a tomb. And you see the CNN video, if you're a radio listener, just go to CNN, you can see it. But for TV viewers at PrisonPlanet.tv or InfoWars.com forward slash show, you can see it. It shows scores of tanks, troops, helicopters, highways taken over, a full invasion by Turkey. And CNN, who's been caught getting money from the Turkish government before, look it up. I've had the reporters on about it who've left. Emmy Award winners who've exposed it, that and other countries have been caught paying them off, are like, oh, they just came to guard a tomb and now they're leaving because of an ISIS threat. They're behind ISIS. They're backing ISIS. So it's lies at every level. Let's play the clip. The mission to evacuate and relocate the tomb of Suleiman Shah, the grandfather of the first Ottoman sultan. The shrine is located in a Turkish enclave inside Syria. Turkish special forces were dispatched last March to protect it from <laughs> ISIS militants it who surrounded it. It paused. They've been shelling for up to four years on record out of there against the Syrian forces to pump al-Qaeda and ISIS jihads in. I mean, that's on record, Turkey's quarterback and the actual military invasion. Now they're there to fight them. Oh, oh. I mean, this is how pathetic we are in this country, to be shoveled loads of crap like this. It's worse than Obama saying two plus two equals five, or that raising the debt limit doesn't raise the debt limit. Let's go back to it. Late Saturday, another group of Turkish soldiers entered Syria and traveled through the Kurdish-controlled town of Kobani, to recover everything inside the tomb and evacuate the besieged forces. All the while, another Turkish unit prepared a new site by raising the Turkish flag <laughs> at the Eshmet village, a location much closer to the Turkish border, but still inside Syrian territory. Unbelievable. The ongoing so, 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 so I wonder if Germany will invade us, claiming they're protecting some tomb. I mean, it's just its just what they feed people. When you're informed, you watch CNN, it's incredibly entertaining, but it's sick. And then MSNBC is even worse. I mean, these people are just preying on the American public. All right, your phone calls are coming up. Second hour jam-packed. We haven't even scratched the tip of the iceberg. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. You are the resistance, folks. You are the hope, and we're gaining ground. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Let me boil it down real simple. It's the bottom line. 
Globalist interests have made a deal with Saudi Arabia to turn over most of the Middle East and part of Africa to them and, and part of Asia if they will in turn attack certain sites in Russia and the United States and Europe so that they can destabilize Russia and then take American and European liberties. It's, it's a very simple equation uh, and continue to invest the money that the Saudi Arabians make off their sweet crude. See, it's not just the Saudi Arabians have a bunch of oil that's right under the sand. It's that it's almost gasoline when it comes out of the ground. That's what sweet means. I know most of you know that, but other folks don't. They're like, why don't we just get oil somewhere else? Well, it costs them maybe $10 a barrel to get it out of the ground. And it costs 100 out of Venezuela, about 50 out of Texas, about 75 out of most areas in Canada. So do the math. Saudi Arabia uh, set up by British intelligence to get the oil, Standard Oil was involved, has been trying for over 100 years to stop Iran from selling its oil. It's got some sweet crude. So it's the same story over and over again. We got Robert, Robert, Elijah, George. When we get back in the next segment, I'm going to open the phones up to everybody. I mean, I specifically, though, want to get all the listeners take on our government openly radicalizing Islam, and now they're saying they're going to attack the shopping malls. Oh, we got to take all your rights. When our own government says they're bringing in, quote, Syrian and Iraqi refugees who just so happen to be Wahhabist. Over and over again, they let the Wahhabists fly out of Europe and the U.S. and England to on, on on major airlines to the Middle East to then fight. This is a army, uh, a group produced by the West, funded by Saudi Arabia. So I want everybody's take on this. 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Robert in North Dakota, veteran of the 82nd Airborne, says he wants to give his take on this. Go ahead. Thank you, Alex, for taking my call, sir. I, I admire you so much. You are a great American for, for getting every, all this information out. Please give me just a couple minutes here. I've got some dots I want to connect with you uh, that is going to absolutely prove to your listeners. I know you already know this, but it's going to prove to your listeners that what you are speaking about is absolutely true. Well, start, start breaking it down. Go ahead. Born. Go ahead. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne, and I have a lot of uh, Special Forces friends of mine who, uh, you know, it's, it's running through the military. They are fed up with this. Now, here's my point. What you're talking about is in the Bible. Uh, the one world government, four blood moons and the solar eclipse of what we're going to have next month is proof of what's going on. In the prophecies of Daniel and in Revelation, it speaks of the end time beasts. And the end time beast is always described as nations. In Daniel, they're separate. It's the bear, which is Russia, the leopard, which is Germany, the lion, which is Great Britain, and interestingly enough, in Daniel, he sees the uh, eagle coming out of the lion. But where did America come from? We came from Great Britain. Now, in Revelation, in the last days, now here's where the four blood moons and the solar eclipse comes in. This is no coincidence. Uh, in, in the Revelations now, the, beasts are, the nations are combined to one. It's described as having the feet of the bear, and so on and so forth. And Turkey invading, uh, getting involved here now with Syria, is, if I'm not mistaken, Turkey is ancient Gog, G-O-G. -G. So yeah, it says Gog, Gog and Magog. Gog. Gog and Magog, Gog yeah. And Magog, yes, Gog and Magog has begun. This is no joke, people. Alex is right on the money. We are living in end times, and the four blood moons, which is so rare, it's only happened three times in the last 500 years. We're having a solar eclipse here at the 20th of next month. I know. Month. What's going on? There's eclipses all the time now. It's just, like, crazy. Well, but well, the only difference is the fact that all these things, the persecution and murder and slaughter of all the Christians around the world, and the four blood... And the UN is, is promoting radicalism and doing all this. And But then the Bible says they make war on Israel. But there's also the Antichrist is first in Israel for a while. So I kind of see a lot of mainline Christians skipping that. Uh, what do you think about that? I mean... Uh, Oh, that's coming, you see, because in Revelation, the, the combining of the nations to make one the final beast says that the head of the dragon and the ten horns, the little horn that speaks, well, that's the ten final kingdoms. That's which, which the UN and others say there's going to be ten regional kingdoms under the one world government. That's a, uh, it's, in just, it's amazing. 
It's amazing. Thank you for the call. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888 Three one three nine. It's the plan. Kill the country. World government. It's here. The challenge is how to build. A world order. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions, or on so global a scale. The governments don't rule the world. Goldman Sachs rules the world. This is. We are going to carve up the world according to the way we want to. Unelected world government looting you. They've exercised power for actual world or global control. I know what North Korea is. I know what the TSA is meant to be. You want to shut their energy systems off? You want to break up their families? If you have so much power in play, you can do anything. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. You understand you're living in a science fiction movie. I'm living in it. The government has just approved the use of a computer chip that would be implanted under your skin. When complete, everyone will have a unique 12-digit identity number. That DNA is stored even without your consent. But I mean, do they point blank say, we're putting a chip in you? Uh, yeah. It was an interior barcode, if you will. This makes my head explode, that your television could be eavesdropping on your conversations and then sharing it over the web. All the cars now have tracker boxes that can remote control your vehicle in them. The Justice Department is building a national database to track in real time the movement of vehicles around the U.S., storing hundreds of millions of records about motorists. It's like the elite or space aliens or something with a master plan. It's so evil. It's so sadistic. No, it's the devil. I mean, that's it. This galactic force of destruction that's animating people to do this. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live and we're talking about the fact that it's now being announced that these Al-Qaeda ISIS groups are threatening to attack U.S. malls and other facilities just like they, quote, did in Kenya. Well, the head of Interpol last year after the attack said the answer is to arm people in countries targeted by radical Islamists, to arm the general public with concealed carry. Not to put checkpoints everywhere, because you, if terrorists want to hit someplace, they'll just find something unprotected. Or they'll attack the checkpoint itself, which just makes the people at the checkpoint wide open as the main target. You arm the general public. But again, the threat itself is manufactured because our government and other governments are protecting radical Islam, opening up the borders, and bringing them in. And as Wesley Clark just said last hour, our own government and other governments have been funding the radical jihadis. Oh, but now they've gotten out of hand, so we're just going to have to go in and take them out. No, they're there to build a beachhead for them under the cover of a war to take Syria. And now that's even being announced Oh, our, when our troops get there, they're going to help the good Syrian rebels. I mean, give me a break. The Pentagon has said 95% of the rebels are Al-Qaeda, ISIS-linked. I mean, they're sawing everybody's heads off. They don't let non-radicals in their group. So we're taking your phone calls right now. Who should I go to first? Who'd you guys? John in Texas, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Hello. Am I online? You sure are on air. Okay. Alex, um, I just <clears throat> basically wanted to vent a little bit of frustration here regarding immigration. I'm trying to get a uh, fiancé from uh, Ukraine over here, 
costing thousands of dollars. It'll probably take me eight months to get her here. You know, and it is just so frustrating because every obstacle, you know, to get, you know, a Caucasian woman into this country is well, it is. Incredible. It is true that in this new system, everything's discriminatory towards whites by design. And, they, and they've got studies out, you can look them up, that Europeans, Australians, South Africans who are white cannot basically get here. But for whatever reason, if you're from a third world African country or from a collapsing Latin American country, you can have your babies free, everything. In fact, uh, the, there was a headline in CNN last week that Chinese women come here, they advertise that they're coming here, they come here and have their babies so they become U.S. citizens. Uh, they do try to go after people for fraud if they're Caucasian, but they have trouble enforcing it because of selective enforcement. So the answer would be go to Ukraine, fly her here as a visitor, uh, you know, get her pregnant and fly her here. And she has the baby and play the system, have the baby for free, get on welfare and just sit on your butt for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't do that. You don't engage in fraud. You're not a good American. Did you hear me mention that tomorrow in Austin, Texas, Austin welcoming city summit? The purpose of the Austin Welcoming City Summit is to convene community stakeholders to network, explore welcoming city concept as it exists nationwide. Learn about recognizing best practices in immigrant integration and inform uh, Austin's own welcoming city. And it's how to get the illegals into the country and they get free breakfast, lunch and dinner. And uh, but again, uh, there you go. So, so maybe you should just try to get her here to that. Of course, she probably wouldn't be very welcome. Go ahead. Conservative woman and. She wants to, you know, get married before we have a child. So, I mean, and, oh, and my I goodness. agree. I agree. Well, you just need to get over there to Ukraine and marry her, and then, uh, of course, they're going to ask you that when you no, go through. Then, then, then it takes longer to get here. It, 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 it uh, doubles the, the time to get her here. I mean, on a fiancé visa, it's six or seven months. And Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm told you, those Ukrainian women are quite lovely. Oh, they're, they're the best in the planet. Well, you got a problem, like in that. I hear they like. Yes, to, I do. Yes, I, I and do. I heard they're real feminine too, which is just horrible. Absolutely, they're they're oh gorgeous. I heard they like Good men. Girl. That's another horrible crime. Well, yes, they do like men, and they do like Texans. Oh no! Which is oh <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> I'm totally vulnerable. You know? <laughs> Anyways. I Thank hear you, you, brother. Hey, it's red-blooded people that make the planet go around. It's the system doesn't we, like We it. will have children, and we will have plenty of children, and that's that's our goal. Well, I think you're bad, and I and I just think you uh, you I think you should just uh, crawl in a corner and die because you're white, and that's inherently bad. I appreciate your call. You know, past all the sarcasm. Humans are humans. I mean, you take the Hispanic population of this country; they are fundamentally very conservative when it comes to family and values. The problem is the Democrats, the socialists, the engineers are bringing unskilled people here and then indoctrinating them. When they bring the illegals in and put them on buses at the border, we broke this, but see even in the New York Times, they then, they're advertising for women without husbands who are poor with their kids, and then they basically wet them to the state. They, they bus them into democratic controlled areas, they're then basically put through the system with Democratic Party lawyers who then get a cut of their paycheck for the rest of their lives. So there is, it's, it's modern slavery. And I found the audience that's the most responsive to this is Hispanics. Because Hispanic Americans are here paying taxes, paying for insurance, jumping through all the hoops, breaking their backs, super smart, hardworking people. And they're watching their main competition be 800 million people in collapsing hellhole Latin America come up here and then just basically go into the welfare system and compete with them for jobs because the illegals will get welfare and work and they see their wages being driven down. So the most responsive audience we've got is Hispanic Americans when it comes to immigration is issue. And that's what's crazy. The media goes, you're anti-Hispanic if you don't want totally open borders. Well, Hispanics are fundamentally fair people. They're not stupid. They go, well, I can't go to Mexico uh, if my name's Jones or Gonzalez or Schmidt, or, or, or Chang, uh, or whatever it is, or uh, Nabutu out of Africa. You can't go there. If you're Guatemalan and your name's Gonzalez, you can't go to Mexico. Show up at a hospital, have a baby, and then it's paid for and you get put on welfare. I mean, the Mexicans would literally throw you in a jail, beat you up, suck money out of your family. Their government would if you tried that.
They don't care if you're Hispanic, black, white. They don't care. Their government's predatory. Here's our government. Oh, we want to bring you here and give you all this free stuff. Oh, we love you so much. Oh, we care about you so much. To the point that local police are on record, so are the Border Patrol. They're ordered to let them go for aggravated assault. That's rape. Armed robbery. The police still will arrest them sometimes, but then the jails just let them go, or ICE won't come pick them up. And, and, and again, this was in CBS News last week. It's incredible. They could put something out there like that, and nothing's done. This is part of a larger agenda to drive down wages, collapse the country. It's part of North American integration by stealth for the North American Union, where all due process leaves us. Why did everybody want to get here? Because we had property, we had wealth. Liberty created the wealth. Now as liberty's taken away, the wealth disappearing as well. And then this giant mass of uneducated people hooked up the Democratic Party mammary gland will vote to take our guns, our liberty, and everything else, and it's game over. Game over, man, game over. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time. NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst case scenario unravels. That's D A R K E S T D A Y S dot I N F O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? 
Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Feds. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Yeah, the feds are now saying just brace for attacks. We've got to take all your rights. They're going to hit the shopping malls, everything. And I saw a story like last week about how our government's, quote, shipping Toyota trucks to the good Syrian rebels who are supposedly battling ISIS as well as Assad. And then I just was watching the news, and it's the very same color trucks that ISIS now has. I mean, this is so ridiculous. And our military, remember, two years ago went public and started tweeting photos of themselves saying, I will not back al-Qaeda in Syria, so they just changed the name. Let's go to a bunch of your calls. Oscar, Robert, Elijah, George, off my or my off, Lee, Dion, and others. Gucciardi's coming in about the fall of McDonald's and Monsanto, what that really means, the impending... Well, it says it's official. McDonald's and Monsanto are both losing money fast, close quote. But Oscar in Texas, you're on the air. Okay. I basically wanted to talk about uh, the Act of 1871. Our Congress, our 42nd, uh, 42nd Congress basically sold us out by creating a uh, place called the D.C. Which is That's right. Uh, and I've got Columbia. it right here from the Encyclopedia. The district of Columbia, Organic Act of 1871, making it its own district, like the Vatican or the city of London within London, which is above the law and a corporate fiction, a separate government. And you drill into these civil emergency acts they bring in every year. We are now under the complete control of this foreign uh, body. Exactly. Even, even in the 13th Amendment, they changed it where involuntary servitude um, basically defining slavery. We're basically voluntarily under this. If you That's right. They got they, rid of slavery and then just made us all indentured servants. Pretty much in, in a legal way. I know. I've talked to top constitutional lawyers and they go, yeah, but the public doesn't understand this. Uh, and, and it doesn't make me a slave because they say I'm one, but they officially need laws, close quote, to say it's okay. And this is what they do. Yeah, if we assume we're our name, we're assuming that corporate entity. God bless you. Great points, Oscar. Yeah, that's why I'm so frustrated. I don't want to fight with whites, blacks, Hispanics. Most people are mixed. I'm part Native American. I'm just sick. I just want freedom. But they organize everybody into race-based systems where the only right we think we have is fighting with each other over what race we are, when we're all the human race. And then meanwhile, global government's coming in and our basic freedoms are being destroyed. Thank you, Oscar. Great point bringing that. We should do a special report on the District of Columbia Organic Act because he's absolutely right about that. Uh, let's talk to uh, Robert in Connecticut. You're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. How are you doing today? All right, brother. Uh, good, good. Hey, listen, uh, I, I've been a Prison Planet member for the past year, and I'm, uh, I've been doing a lot of research, uh, watch what's happened over the past year, the coup in the Ukraine, how the Western media covered it one way. Uh, the uh, killing of all the civilians in eastern Ukraine by the Kiev government when they went, didn't want to go along with the uh, uh, Nazis that they put in power there. Yes, it's very uh, clear that the West is the progenitor of the war in Ukraine, started it. The Russians have done a lot of bad stuff to the Ukrainians in the last 500 years, but that area has always been Russian-controlled. It's partly Russian. It used to be part of Russia. The West is starting to fight. The West is in the wrong. And George Soros brags. He's, he, he, he runs the whole show. All right, well, I, my point is Well, George that, Soros I, I, is I, getting his butt kicked because in they just lost five different cities in the last week to the Russian rebels. Go ahead. I know, I know they didn't. They marched them right out of that uh, encirclement that they had. Now, the thing that I wanted to bring up was the protocols of the learned elders of Zion. I listened to this three-hour audio book uh, today, and all the uh, parallels with what's happening in the world and what's been happening in the world since the beginning of the 20th century. Was that Myron Fagan? Uh, no.
I would say, I forget the guy's name that was reading the, uh, the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. It's their basic New World Order plan to take over the government, take over the media, uh, you know, and enslave the rest of the population. Sure, but one uh, minute you were saying you didn't want to support the Western Ukrainians that are Nazi-backed from, from World War II. The country was split. It was Nazi-backed. They have swastikas as the same group. And I think Soviet system was just as bad as the Nazis. I don't back either side uh, overall, except I don't b b back overt aggression for no reason other than destabilization and a Marshall Plan to be paid to Soros to fix the problem of the destabilization. But is it a Nazi plan or are you saying it's a Zionist plan? Because I've read the, uh, the, the, the protocols of the learned elders of Zion and it's written like a comic book. I mean, people wouldn't write something that incriminating of themselves. It's reportedly a Russian czarist, white Russian, and that doesn't mean white people, folks. It just means pro-imperial pro group uh, that was meant to be used as anti-Semitic propaganda. Um, I mean, do you think that the protocols are real? Well, the only thing that I can say is listening to the, the audio book today, I can see all the correlations that have been happening throughout the world. Oh, there's no doubt those are government tactics, but you can read 1984 and go, wow, a lot of this is going on. You see what I'm saying? And, and I'm not an apologist for, for the Jewish mafia. Uh, there's definitely a Jewish mafia worldwide. There's other mafias as well. And when you criticize the Jewish mafia, they attack you and say you're anti-Semitic. But most Jews have nothing to do with the Jewish mafia. Okay, now, uh, now, isn't it the Rothschild Zionists that actually control the Federal Reserve and control the central banking system? Throughout it is the true that the Rothschilds took over England in 1815 with the fall of the Napoleon by manipulating a stock market crash. Uh, and it is true that they are a big part of it, but they also help fund Hitler. So uh, when you get into the Rothschilds, I mean, this is a very wicked group of people at the top. They have a large family. I'm not saying they're all involved in it. Uh, but uh, certainly that is a big part of it. But they married into the British royal family and are now a bizarro... I mean, this is well known in Hollywood. That's why the new movie, it's fiction, but it, like, it's a cosmology of a lot of real stuff, uh, inherent vice, where the top Jewish you know, uh, real estate owner is a Nazi. And then no. it turns out the FBI is really running the whole show from behind the scenes. They're kind of telling you in that that all these names and groups mean nothing. It's all about power at the end of the day. Right. Now, didn't the Rothschilds make a deal with the British uh, uh, government in the 1915 that they would be able to get the Americans into World War One if they would promise them uh, Palestine? That is a big part of it, absolutely. That's been that's been declassified, and uh, the Rothschilds also funded, along with the U.S. government and the British government, uh, the train of gold with Lenin in 1917, and they overthrew the white Russians and put the Bolsheviks in, and they killed about 50 million people. So it, it, it is true, that is true, yes. And that, that's declassified, undisputed on record, uh, that the Rothschilds, along with others, they even funded the recruits, about 50,000 out of Brooklyn, uh, to invade Russia and do that. Right, and now ever since uh, the state of Israel came into existence, whatever it was, 1948, they've been uh, ever expanding and uh, turned that into basic police state, and now they're an apartheid state. Well, they you know, you know, here's the deal. Israel's very diverse. There's different groups. Uh, there's different groups of Zionists, so it's more sophisticated than that. Um, the globalist plan... The Rothschild allied Zionist on record, books have been written on this, wouldn't let most of the Jews get out of Germany. Roosevelt wouldn't let the Jews get out of Germany. They were only allowed to go to Palestine and they had to pay the equivalent of about a million dollars to be able to get out. So it's more sophisticated than that. Uh, most Jews are not involved in it. I don't think it's a Jewish conspiracy to answer your question. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are 
never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at Infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver. Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic, it's Alex Jones. All right, we got loaded phone lines with Elijah and George and Myoff, Lee, Dion. We'll get to all of you. Coming up in the next segment, Anthony Gucciardi, writer for InfoWars.com, is here in studio with us. I've got a bunch of headlines here I want to go over. The government's war on freedom of the press. Press freedom has declined in recent years, an investigative report by Reason Magazine. The U.S. plummeted to a dismal 49th place on the Reporters Without Borders Annual Press Freedom Index, uh, marking the country's second lowest ranking since the list was created in 2002. It's lowest since 2006. Other countries ranked in the 40s and 50s include Haiti, Mongolia, and Chile. Now, folks, here's the deal. We've got more reporters than most countries. We're a media-rich nation. But statistically, Obama has arrested dozens and dozens of reporters, put them in jail for just reporting on North Korean troop movements that are announced at the State Department. So you go to a press conference, they say it, then they arrest you. Uh, 
so so that's the kind of stuff. I mean, it's a real chilling effect. Now you dovetail that with the fact that the establishment media is in so much trouble. It's all this Brian Williams moment for the system where they lose total credibility. So they're trying to come in to censor the alternative, the new media that's becoming bigger and more powerful than they are in an attempt to create a chilling effect. The FCC wanted to regulate the Internet in the name of uh, protecting it. The Internet kill switch, on and on and on. Well, here's the article at Infowars.com by Anthony Gucciardi. It's official. McDonald's and Monsanto are both losing money fast. Close quote. Public awakens to what's really in their food, including the average person who over a lifetime eats a massive amount of, quote, fake food. And again, I don't have an out for McDonald's, except the fact that they've got so many additives and the rest of it, but they're kind of the big dog. If you can make them change or they won't change and they, and they fall, you can change the world. And so I wanted to get Anthony Gucciardi in here to talk about his article and dovetail it with the article earlier in the week you did for PrisonPlanet.com and StoryLeak.com where you went over the government's admission of how many tons of fake food, kind of like how many pounds of rat feces can be in our food. I mean, this is in the regulations, but the average person doesn't know about it. And the system's battling to stop GMO labeling and to not let us know what's really in our food. And then meanwhile, we'll show our Twitter page, the new, the new National Geographic coming out says it's a conspiracy theory to say GMO could hurt you when... In tons of studies, they admit it's killing rats and causing problems. They've had to recall Starlink corn. I mean, hundreds of different GMO crops. But they're acting like, oh, none of that exists, hoping we're ignorant. Don't they know that doesn't work anymore, Anthony? Well, how many years have we come on air and talked about all the devastating acts of Monsanto and McDonald's and the plastic foam chemicals and McDonald's Happy Meals that everyone's giving to their children, all the synthetic laxatives, all of it, right? How many years have we talked about that and warned over and over again that that's going to collapse as the consumers realize they're not going to eat it anymore? So you can go to somewhere like Whole Foods and get the same stuff that's better and organic for like $5. So the paradigm is collapsing here. I went to McDonald's when I was in that Chuck Norris movie they're shooting up in North Texas a few weeks ago, and I was coming back. I went in one just to use the bathroom uh, in, in Waco. There was nothing in there but illegals. I guess they're the only ones that haven't gotten the memo. Sorry. Well, as the economy collapses, people realize they can actually still get organic, healthier options for like $5, and no one wants to go to McDonald's anymore. And it just shows how greedy these corporations are, because, again, we don't have anything against these corporations individually. It's the Mike Norris loading us with, with garbage. But if they would have gone in the 90s or after Super Size Me came out and realized with their market research, which they knew. If that had changed course then, yes. it takes a while to turn a big you know, organization around, but they could have done it and maintained market share. They didn't. They arrogantly doubled down on propaganda, just like Brian Williams did, lying again, and it didn't work. And they're still doing it. They fired their CEO, and they're spending millions of dollars on these trendy campaigns. And he's the one that tried to clean it up and give healthy food, compared to... Exactly. He was saying, hey, we actually need to do something different. They want to, instead of changing the ingredients and actually having to spend roughly two more cents, in many cases, according to some of the analysis, two cents per actual meal to change the synthetic fillers to actually non-garbage. And it's also important to remember that they did try to do stuff in the past, like they rejected GMO potatoes, and they actually got a little bit of good publicity. But then last week they accepted them. Let's expand on this. Exactly. Chains like P. Terry's and In Out Burger, P. Terry's is much smaller, In Out Burger in L.A., that just give you an old-fashioned, big, juicy, dripping burger that doesn't taste like space food or, or national lunch program uh, prison food. They're all displacing McDonald's. That's even bigger than the health people. McDonald's just feeds people space food crap people don't want. Bill Gates controlled, he's involved. Space food. I mean, we don't want glow-in-the-dark food that doesn't rot. Uh, you know, I mean, Super Size, we showed it doesn't rot. Something's, you know. It rots you. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead, I'm ranting. I mean, what does this signify, though? Am I right in saying this is a canary in the coal mine? Yes, and it's a major victory. If you think about it, even CNN now, just think, just think five years ago if this were to happen. CNN Money says, is McDonald's doomed, right? And they talk about how their market share is going down. They're underperforming the market. Which yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not us in your article putting out sensational stuff. They're saying this. Yeah, Business Insider. McDonald's is losing America, and it shows their actual profits going down, sliding down, just percentages of decline every single month. 
for the last 13 months, there's been closures. So these, these companies like McDonald's and like Monsanto, what's happening is we're actually making an effect. And with all economic turnarounds, it takes time, right? So it takes a series of years. Voting with our dollars in the free market. Exactly. Which is why they want to end free markets that only have mega corporations so you don't have choice. That's right. And people are going out and they're voting with their dollar or overall the information is spreading. I mean, just this article right now on InfoWars and everyone caring, it's got, you know, tens of thousands of shares just on Facebook. People are spreading the word. They're mad. And then that's a fact that is turning other individuals onto it. We're going to retweet it right now at Real Alex Jones, this article on McDonald's. I, I would call it the fall of McDonald's. It is. Well, I mean, let's do a follow up report. Well, I think we should include this video in it, in fact. Because the fall of too big to fail. We should do a whole, every week for the next month, a review of big corporations that were too big to fall. They got propped up, but they fell because people just stopped visiting them. Well, I don't want to break this right here, but it is Coca-Cola is the next one in line. Their market share is going down. They're losing profits. They're tied to McDonald's and Monsanto. And Bill Gates also owns 500,000 plus shares of Monsanto as of 2011. Who knows what he owns now? So he's invested in all of this. What I want to know is really, is this actually the forefront of the elite? system being completely crumbled and turned down over the years people get it they have no power but voting with their dollars yeah. and by the way shifting gears that means supporting us spreading the word about the broadcast that means buying the products that means getting involved and uh, spreading the word so please tell folks about the free podcast about the free video streams infowars.com forward slash show we're running a special uh, in the month of february about human empowerment it's not just about boxes of candy and roses Super male and super female vitality are concentrated herbs and other extracts known to healthily supercharge your libido, energy, you name it. I couldn't operate without this. It's so amazing. 20% off both super male and super female vitality. You can also get two bottles of our proprietary deep earth crystal sourced nascent iodine. The good halogen with a free bottle of ancient defense herbal immunity booster. A free bottle of that when you buy two bottles of survival shield x2 that they're demonizing and attacking because they want you to have the bad halogens like fluoride in your body not the good halogen back when the federal government cared they mandated the cruddy iodine but at least that was there in the salt it's out now when we got attacked by the press last week they said it's already in the salt alex no it's not it's been out since the 60s you can find it with this stuff out there you can find some of the uh, sea salts have it and that's that's good Yep. But, but nothing compared to X2 and the type that we have. So InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsLife.com, try it. And I, you've heard the rave reviews from listeners. I believe you'll become a repeat customer and fund this operation that is in the face of the globalist, no compromise. We're going to break, Anthony. I want to come back and take calls, get into other topics with you as we talk to these callers. But briefly, why is X2 different than other nascent iodines? Well, it's pretty simple. Usually you have potassium iodide or you have some other form of congulated iodine that simply you don't want, in our opinions, based on the research and medical doctors in your body. X2 is over 8,000 feet below the earth. It's pristine. We it's the strongest one out there, 99999. It doesn't have the other garbage bound of the iodine. Yep, it's the only 99.999% pure iodine on the market, period. And it's from a crystal source not extracted from seaweed. That's exactly right. So it isn't. it doesn't turn red on paper, it turns bright blue. Yep. Which is what the iodine crystals do. It's true iodine. It comes from pure iodine, gas crystals injected. Uh, we'll, we'll be right back. InfoWarsLife.com. Stay with us. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent...
at the same time, NASA has already set the countdown timer. And right now, the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will re-emerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst-case scenario unravels. That's D-A-R-K-E-S-T-D-A-Y-S dot I-N-F-O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life-saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. That's right. Drop the hammer. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. That's right. There's always... Agents of tyranny, agents of corruption in the world, there's always agents of good. But agents of tyranny try to distract and divert the public. They try to teach you that you have no power. The truth is you do have incredible power. You couldn't find non-GMO 10, 15 years ago in stores. Now it's everywhere. You couldn't find anybody that knew the Federal Reserve was private, run for profit, and foreign. Now in major polls, most people know that. And they're set to try to audit it soon in the Senate. We're inches away from passing it. We're making progress. That's why they want to start new wars. That's why they want to start a civil war. That's why they've got the talk about the Oscars being racism. This is their tool of control. Anthony Gucciardi is my guest. I want to go to your calls. But Anthony's going to be back home with me tomorrow and a bunch of guests on the weekday show covering nature's best remedies. The world of health and healing all around you. National Geographic. People have gone to jail for saying what's in this. But why are they allowed to? Because they know there's a market out there. You have to, and then they sell the products at the back. But separately, there's a new National Geographic coming out saying vaccines are not linked to autism and that GMO isn't linked to problems. So the dinosaur media is kind of talking out of both sides of its mouth. We'll break it down tomorrow. Right now, let's go to Elijah in Indiana. You disagree, we're told. Thank you for calling. Yes, hi, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. And uh, I've seen your show a lot regularly over the last year. I say you're doing a great job. Thank you, so brother. You're one of the reasons why they're going to lose. 
And my disagreement isn't a big one. It's almost, I'm sort of playing devil's advocate. You said what's going on in the Middle East right now is 100% all controlled by, you know, the globalists, the guys really pulling the strings. Well, no, starting it and shepherding it and protecting it, but, not, but, but they were manipulating forces that were already there. It's like causing a cattle stampede or something. You're not the cattle. You don't run them, but you, you know, fired the flare gun into them to make them start running. Right, I would agree. But I think, you know, you know better than one. These globalists, they're control freaks. They need to control every aspect that they oversee. And I feel that they see, you know, the jihadists, they see these uh, radical groups as almost a wild card, not so much a threat, but just a threat. Oh, they I agree. They want to bomb some of them to get them back in line. Absolutely. This is like a cattle prod to keep the cattle, you know, going the direction you want. It's like a sheepdog herding the sheep. I'm sorry. You can pin them as the common enemy and rally the troops, get the troops back on the side of the machine of the government to get them to attack them. And then over here back in America, you can push that. Everyone who disagrees with the left and CNN and whatnot, you can call them xenophobic, Islamophobic, or racist. You can continue the racial and political... Exactly, you can see the dialectic while the globalists are behind it. Excellent point. Anything else? Um... No, not at all, but thank you for letting me uh, talk on your show. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Uh, Anthony Comas on what he just said. No, I think that's great. That's the kind of discussion we need, not someone calling in and just bashing you, but actually saying, hey, I disagree with this point, and you actually, sounds like you agree perfectly with him. Well, sure. I mean, it's, it's, stuff's so complex, it's hard to put these ideas out exactly correctly because it's so complex. And that's the thing, too, that if you're willing to actually ex explain the ideas, you're putting yourself out to be attacked because there's so much minutia and minute detail. Exactly. The media has dumbed the debate down to just Coke, Pepsi, Ford, Chevy. We're here to get people outside the box, not to think like we do, just to think outside the box. That's why they don't actually argue with your segments. They take snippets of a 30-second discussion that you have and then attack that. Or images. Or out of, they'll just make something up. That's yeah, what. That's it. Look at this. We've been saying this forever. Fresh nuclear leak detected at Fukushima. Talk about why people should get X2. Yeah. Protect their thyroids. I mean, that's why I got into thyroid uh, research, all the thyroid problems in this country. And, and that's kind of an example, if I may mention something as well. I mean, F Fukushima, it's not something that's in your face. You don't see green clouds of radiation coming to your house, but every single day it's coming to the West Coast. All the scientists and experts say it's going to happen for... The FDA and EPA had to raise the level of what they said was safe because of it. And they shut the counters off in Fukushima and on the West Coast. I mean, it's still happening every day. The radiation is still hitting us. We're still going to... It's still melting down. Yeah, I mean, we're still going to get sick from it. People are dying of cancer near Fukushima, 6,000% increase in cancer rates, but we don't see that every day, so no one cares. They will care if another explosion happens. Because oh, if five people get shot at a mall, they'll say suspend the Bill of Rights and Constitution. Oh, exactly. But they don't care about the actual radiation because you can't see it. And that's a whole other issue, too. That if you can't actually see something and you dare to call it out and speak <coughs> about it, then you're crazy. Meanwhile, the top Russian general came out four days ago and said we're at war with the U.S., but that doesn't matter. No, that's fine as well. I mean, it's just bizarro land. George in Ontario, Canada, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hi, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. I've got a two-part question I'd like to throw at you just to get your, uh, your comment. I'll on. do my First best. All, um, I, I've heard you say quite a few times that the U.S. military is, is awake. I'm just wondering what side they're actually on because I'm kind, of, I'm kind of curious. Why are they taking orders from Obama if they can see the writing on the wall for the country and the Constitution? I'm just curious why you think maybe they're... Is it because the brass at the top are paid, you know, paid off, and they're just going along like sheep, or is there a, is there another reason why? I think you answered your own play? question. They're just like anybody else. They're compartmentalized. They're individuals. They know our government's not run by our government. It's run by foreign interests. They know our government's destabilizing countries, starting wars, siding with radical Islamists to attack Russia in Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, um, Chechnya, and other areas. They now know. And if you ask who, what they believe, they're on the American people's side, they're on the Constitution side, they're on the Bill of Rights side. They're, they are the most group, the, the most awake group out there. The problem is the brass is all under heavy surveillance. There's a huge culling and a purge going on of brass that don't play ball. And that's been in the news. Uh, so I'm just saying the good news is the military was given their orders to prepare for national gun confiscation and civil war about four years ago. And since then, it's come out in the news. And that totally woke them up and backfired. So, Anthony, your take on that. Just remember when every single major nuke commander was fired over a period of several months, just last year, 
because they wouldn't play ball on all the secret nuke transfers that were going on, all the top generals being fired, the general that made a YouTube video about it. I mean, there's total insanity. I think there's infighting in every level in the brass. It appears, as best we know, they are decommissioning our backup arsenals. They are selling us out right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this guy, I mean, folks, the borders are wide open. I mean, the country's gone right now. It's like we've just been stabbed. We're bleeding to death. And I'm like, let's get a tourniquet on here. Let's fix the arteries that are cut. They're like, shut up, conspiracy theorist. I mean, this is epic what's going on. There could be a whole show about every single thing we just talked about. There could be a whole, 24 hours of every single thing. Yeah, why'd they fire every new commander? Yeah. Everyone. And it just came out over and over again. And then I remember the Associated Press was like, oh, it was actually secret, but we got a tip about it, and then they had to admit it. And there were standoffs at Dias with the security force that was police aiming guns and, and like, where are these nukes going? Regular and, trucks picking up nuclear weapons. And they're like, there's no documents, and then the yep. base commander comes out. I mean, you know, we're living in Twilight Zone here, folks. Yeah, and I think that really answers the question that there's two sides to it. I think there is a side that obviously is on freedom, and that's the majority of individuals. And then there is a small shadowy group that wants to crush those individuals and is with Obama, no question. That's how they're operating these, you know, strange strategies. Now, there, there's an internal battle, folks. I appreciate your call. Hope that answers your question, George. And it, does, it, does it answer it? Yeah, I just have one other quick comment. I started seeing lately on social media people saying stuff like it's time to send the Marines to Washington and that sort of thing. You ever, you ever expect that maybe the uh, the troops would get so uh, so mad at the government that it would maybe Sure, win sure. It? But historically, that usually goes bad. We just need to restore the republic, get back to common sense, balance our budget, not destabilize the country. The foreign banks want to wreck the country. Our country is so wealthy, so powerful, still has goodwill. If we say we're sorry that we've pulled up and start going the right direction, the world will have a huge sigh of relief. We have a bunch of foreign banks using us as their bully to dominate the world, making corrupt countries like Russia and China look like good guys. They're not good guys either. It's that we're run by just absolute crazy scum that has a score to settle with everybody. The elite want to break this country. They hate the American people. They hate the Russians because they're sovereign. They uh, think they hate Syria because they're sovereign. Think how much they hate us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, George. Uh, my off in New York. Got to move quick. Go ahead. Yes, Alice. It's, it's actually my at. It's um, M A A T. It's okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Yes. Uh, on. Um, ISIL and ISIS, there are obvious aspects that uh, this was created by the Mossad and CIA and those type forces. They don't attack any Israeli targets. They weren't hit when they left Syria into Jordan. They have new equipment with keys and manuals attached and Toyota trucks that aren't imported. That are from the U.O. Ma'am, you're at, listen, Wesley Clark just came out and said that our allies, quote, funded them. Well, it's on record. We funded them, too. Everybody's involved. You're absolutely right. Can you hold me over into overdrive? Well, ma'am, we um, can't do overdrive on Sunday. I, I Paul, Call oh. me back tomorrow. In fact, I'm out of time. Anthony, final word. We're taking down Monsanto. We're taking down McDonald's. We can ultimately change the system. It sounds like every caller and everyone wants that. They want to change the system. Sure, sure. And we say America, NATO, Israel, Turkey are behind ISIS. No, they're not. Criminal elements are allowing these groups to do this. Most people in Israel and Turkey don't like funding ISIS. Okay, so, so that's the issue. God bless you all. Great job, crew. Back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Lord willing, with the weekday broadcast. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. 
For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. <laughs> 